How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser. Today's video is going to be different on one app particularly called APK Extractor and the reason why I want to bring it is because it does one wondrous thing. If I click into APK Extractor, if you don't know by now, APK is the files that all Android apps are composed as. Say example, if you want to back up an app or you know uh, an app that no longer exists on the Play Store, it doesn't mean that it won't work anymore. But the safest way that I'm going to show you, instead of having to download a uh, from different servers you can make your own and save it on your Google Drive and I'm going to show you just that. Also doing this there's an app that doesn't want to work on your Nexus 7 tablet or whatever other tablet or your Nexus 7 tablet has an app that doesn't work for your phone you can try this and you don't have to be rooted to do this apps do I not have installed on here so let's go into my app drawer I'm running a 5.0 lollipop on here and 4.4.2 on here I haven't been updating because I I like my tweaks from exposed framework rather than uh, what I can't do on here for now. Here's a perfect example. Win app is no longer available to download on the Play Store. I do not have it installed on my Nexus 7. So that's why I've been able to keep this application for so long, moving it from device to another device. So that's just to show you, we'll go to Win Amp. It wants to show there, but it's not in here. You cannot get this application. So what I'll do is go back to APK Extractor. You want to go all the way down to the W's where Winamp is. If we click on it, it just says extracted to a path. I haven't exactly gone through where it goes, but this is where I click onto the arrow and I go to share. Let me lower this brightness down. So I'll go to share. And in share, we have Bluetooth, Drive, Email. These are the file places we can save to. So I do all my saves through Drive because I want to go through Drive. You will see it saves as that weirdness there that you can rename it. You don't have to touch it, but if you want to, you know, rename it, you can. And you can put it on whichever account you have on your drive. And I have it on the APK files. I want to press save. <clears throat> and then we got a little icon right here telling me that it's uploading to my Google Drive folder. And then you click on the file upload and you can see that I have a whole bunch of different kind of folders here. And I'll... Uh, the one I saved it under was APK files. Here are apps that I've saved a long, long time. This is November 12th. Here's a long time ago. I've been doing this June 14, 2011. That was a long time ago. So I haven't really uploaded anything here other than just to try it out. Those are all old stuff that I, not that I'm using these right now, but I just left them in there. I'll probably go ahead and delete them because I don't need them. But anyways, uh, Winamp is right there. It's modified. So it's in here. Now here with my Nexus 7 tablet, now I'm going to go into my drive. So in my drive, I want to go to APK files and we'll check down here. And there is Winamp APK. So now when I click onto that, it's going to go into Winamp APK because it's an APK file. It already knows to try to download that. And then it'll say, do you want to install this application? And you give it permission or whatever. And you want to press done or open, doesn't matter. And there we have Winamp. I'm not going to go into this app and show you what Winamp does. I'm just showing you that this is how you'll be able to, you know, transfer files that don't work or no longer exist onto other devices. And another way to look at it as is if you don't have a backup way, you're not rooted and you updated an app and it sucks and it doesn't work and you saved an APK file of what it was at that time, you'll be able to, you know, reinstall that application to go revert back to, you know, down date versus update, if that makes any sense, um, to get those back. So APK Extractor is available on the Play Store. It has not been removed. So doing this works for everybody on Android, whether you are rooted or not. This is an alternative way of saving apps, but I don't, I don't remember mentioning this. You cannot save your data it doesn't back up anything it just creates the original file that you download from the play store I'm trying to explain it in the way of saying when you download an app from the play store exactly how you download that app it doesn't come with your data saved or other information that you inputted it just simply creates a copy of that apk file for you to be able to share and download again as if you download from the Play Store, except you're not downloading straight from the Play Store. Now, sometimes if you do that, this is what you need to do next. Either firstly or lastly, uh, you'll want to go to your settings and you'll go into security. And you want to check in on 
unknown sources this will allow you to download applications that are not available on the play store so this will be unchecked like that and this will be checked and it says your phone and personal data are more vulnerable to attack by apps from unknown sources you agree that you're solely responsible for any damage to your phone or loss of data that may result from using these apps Google's covering their booty, so if you're not downloading from the Play Store, that's you're res fully responsible of downloading apps that could be corrupted. If you do it through this way from the Play Store, you make a copy of your APK, you're gonna be fine. The only way you can, you know, should be worrying about it is if you download them from like the browsers or other servers that they're seeding you the file. You know, this is the safest way for you to do. That's all I got for this video. I just wanted to quickly show you how to extract files from the apps that you already have installed. So you can save them personally in case a bad update. Not all of them will work, but like I downloaded apps on here and I tried to download it on here and it said it wouldn't work and uh, it worked on my tablet. So that's one way to you to try. I thought it's pretty cool to share one individual video on that. Any other questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna try to do more videos like this where they're not just all top 10 apps or games. You know, I wanna, expand a little bit more i do got other products that i want to get to as well that companies have sent to me and those of you guys who don't know what my products this is the nexus 7 with the nexus 5 i love the, the nexus series i'm not getting the nexus 6 the nexus 6 is too big for me i like to be able to handheld hold this device and be able to you know do my things instead of having a huge uh big phone and i wish i could have had the nexus 6 but i'm gonna skip that one like i skipped the nexus 4 Alrighty, oh yeah, and back to the next, Nexus 9, I also like this form fact, uh, this does everything I want it to do, I don't feel like I need to get the Nexus 9, but, I mean, if I was rich, I would totally do it, but, that's it, guys. Until next time, I will see you with whatever else I come up with, I'm always here for you guys. Alrighty, I will see you, later.